This video, we're going to talk about leasing, and I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to get right into it because leasing is an option that a lot of people overlook. And the reason why they overlook it is not that they're not knowledgeable, like don't know it exists. They don't understand it. I remember when I first got into business, you know, I hear people talk about leasing and leasing, and I used to act like I knew, but if somebody would have came to me and asked me and actually asked me, hey, Brian, explain to me what a lease, lease option is and how it benefits the customer and what the benefit is to you as a salesperson offering it, I would have I told them back then, there's no benefit to me, um, and I don't know what the benefit is to a customer, so that's why I don't offer it. Oftentimes, the reason why it's not presented isn't because it isn't a good option for that customer. The sales associate has no idea how to present it in the most favorable light. And out of fear of blowing an opportunity, they're like, oh man, you know, this person is already saying they, they want to buy it and I don't want to mess it up by throwing something else in there that I don't really understand that I could try to explain and not come across the right way and this person blow out of here and not buy anything. The fear isn't in the option. The fear is the lack of confidence in the individual. So what this video is here to do is to help you take your confidence to another level. Because I cannot tell you, I, I don't even have to be in your store and work beside you to know for a fact. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you haven't already, please hit that like button because it really helps the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscription and make sure that you click the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I release new videos. And last but definitely not least, make sure that you check out the Selling for Success sales training portal. It has sales training courses, audios, videos, manuals, everything you need to catapult your sales results to a whole new level. So remember, check out sellingforsuccess.org, the sales training portal. I'm Brian Maxwell saying again, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you at the top. There have been deals that have walked out of the door, not because you didn't have what they were looking for, not because uh, they weren't ready to buy. It's because you didn't present a lease option. And the payments may have been a little bit too high. The initial investment or the down payment might have been more than what they're comfortable with. You know what I mean? There's a number of different reasons. They may have been in the military and may have been concerned that if they have to get if they get called off on orders or on deployment, they're paying for something that they're not even driving and not even using. And that is terrifying to a lot of people. So what this video is going to do is going to equip you to be better prepared that when you hear that customer say something or through your qualifying process, you'll be able to identify somebody who may be a very good candidate for that lease option and how to present it in a way that the customer sees the benefit and the value in it for them. And it positions you as somebody that's more than just a salesperson at a dealership. You're somebody who genuinely gives a damn and is actually trying to help this person make a smart, safe buying decision with a custom, with, a, with an option that feels like it's customized specifically for them, okay? So what is a lease, okay? What exactly is a lease option? A lease is an agreement where the customer pays to use a vehicle for a specified period of time. And that's typically between two to four years. And that's all without owning it. So instead of the customer having to buy the vehicle outright, the customer makes monthly payments, which are usually a lot lower than what the traditional uh, payments would be if they were buying the vehicle outright. And it's better suited for customers who have a number of different concerns that we're going to address those. So first of all, I'm going to give you three benefits to somebody utilizing and investing in a lease rather than traditional purchasing. Number one, they can return the vehicle to the dealership. Meaning at the end of that lease term, if they didn't like it, they don't feel like it was the best fit, they can turn it in. Flat out, period. And walk away from it and be hands free. The second option they have is they can buy the vehicle. So they can have it on their lease, their two to four years, whatever it is, and if they liked it, they loved it, they've gotten used to it, they have the right, they have the opportunity to be able to buy it. And guess what? They can buy it at a predetermined price, meaning when they initially do the lease, they'll also be able to know how much it'll be if they decide that they like the lease is the best suit for them. They'll know in advance what their purchase price is. It's already preset. So that's an excellent option for somebody that may love it, 
and may just want to, you know, want to buy it outright. The third option is they can do is when they bring their lease back in, guess what? They can lease something else because there are certain people that always want to have the new new. So the three options that they have with a lease that are extremely beneficial, that people that are buying it or purchasing it outright don't have this. Number one, if you don't like it or when you get done with it, uh, you, you're on to something else, you can just return it. Number two, if you like it, you can buy it at a predetermined set price that was done when the initial lease uh, uh, agreement was, was set for. And thirdly, if they don't, they're over that, they're through with that, they don't want to buy it, they can just lease something else and keep with the new news. So those are the three options. Those are three extremely beneficial points for people that helps them be able to say, hmm, this may be a good option for me. So leasing is extremely popular for people who prefer driving newer models with the latest features and the latest technology. And that's a big thing. You have to realize that since there are people who want the latest infotainment center, want the latest technology, they want the new, new. And this is all, they can enjoy all the new, new stuff and drive the new vehicles while maintaining and minimizing their upfront costs and their monthly payments. So they get the benefit of enjoying the new, new with the latest technology, with minimal monthly payments and with minimal upfront down payment expenses. Now on the flip side of that, leases do often have mileage limitations. And a customer that goes over the mileage limit could get some, some charges. And they also could incur some extra fees from damages that are not covered under the warranty. Okay, so going over mileage and doing damage to the vehicle are two of the only ways that this customer would have to come out of pocket, so to speak, uh, with this vehicle. So let's talk about how a lease is calculated. A lot of people are confused on how do you calculate the payments of a lease? I'm gonna make it really simple for you, okay? The way you calculate the payment for a lease is you wanna take the sales price and you wanna subtract what's called the residual value. And what the residual value is, the residual value is what the vehicle will be worth in two or three or four years, okay? So the residual value is what it'll be worth in the uh, time frame of the term. The easier way for you to really be able to break it down is, um, let's think about it in terms of pizza. Let's say you were hungry and you wanted two slices of pizza. You It would suck if you had to go into the pizza parlor and buy an entire pie just for you to have two slices, knowing you're going to waste the rest. Nobody wants to do that. And leasing is the same way. So when you go to buy a vehicle, you're buying it outright. You're paying for the entire amount of that vehicle. And that's whether you sell it in three years, or it breaks down, you crash it, doesn't matter. What your uh, loan, what your financing is based off of, is the total amount of that vehicle. But when it comes to a lease, if you're only leasing it for two years or for three years or for four years, you're only paying for the time that you're using the vehicle. Just like what we just did with the, excuse me, with the formula, $30,000 vehicle, if you were buying it outright, your financing will be based on $30,000. With a lease, your lease payments are only based on $18,000. So it's a huge, huge uh, difference in payments and initial investment. And it could be much better suited for people that are payment conscious, uh, for people that don't want long-term commitments. And I'll get into all of that stuff in a little bit, but I wanted you to have the formula. So the formula is, as far as for being able to kind of calculate what uh, the lease payments will be around, around. This calculation does not just give you, okay, well, this is what the payments are going to be. No, but it does give you an idea, give you a range, okay? Because there's a lot of other information and, you know, you have no idea what the rates are, different stuff like that. So just for your own, for your mental Rolodex and just to be able to simplify it. And even if you uh, um, were going over it with a customer, with them knowing, you know, and this is just a range. There's a lot of other factors that may go into it, but just to give you an idea of what's going on here. Uh, so again, it's the sales price minus the residual value. And what the residual value is, is what the depreciation, how much the vehicle depreciates in two, three, or four years. 
So you take the sales price and you subtract from it how much the vehicle depreciates. You subtract that from the sales price and that gives you the depreciation value of the vehicle, okay? Now, what are some of the benefits of being able to offer a lease? And there's, a, there's quite a few of them, okay? Um, one benefit is you get a chance to expand your customer base. By offering a lease option, you appeal to a wider range of customers. Like I said earlier, I guarantee you there are deals that have walked, that walked out of your, your dealership that would have bought, would have invested if they would have been given a lease option. Okay, so it, it makes, you're more appealing, your options are more appealing to a wider range of customers. And that includes those who may not qualify for traditional financing due to a budget. Some people may not qualify to buy a vehicle traditionally because their debt to income ratio, the payments are too high, or that initial investment, that down payment is more than what they can afford. Leasing can give them lower payments and a lower upfront out of pocket cost that's more manageable for them. So leasing makes it easier for customers to be able to afford a new car with lower monthly payments and it increases the likelihood of you being able to close that deal, all right? Again, an example is of the being in the military. Somebody comes in and they say they're in the military and they're active duty. Leasing should definitely be something that comes right to the forefront for you. And let me explain to you the benefits of it. If somebody's in the military, if they get orders where they they get a PCS, and that is a, uh, 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 a permanent change of station, if they get a change of station where they have to relocate, or if they get called off to protect our country because there is a war or something going on, a military person can be able to bring that vehicle back, turn it in, and guess walk away from it, and it counts as a paid off lease on their credit. So the benefit for them is extremely risk-free for somebody in the military. And hey, listen, if you get any orders where you have to move, or if you get deployed uh, for battle, you can bring the vehicle back it shows as a as a paid off lease on your credit, which boosts your credit score and makes it that much easier for you the next time uh, you go out to buy or lease a vehicle. It's extremely beneficial, so be mindful. Military people in the military and active duty are awesome candidates for this. Okay. Um, another benefit of being able to offer a lease is you get a chance to increase your closing percentage. Leasing typically have lower monthly payments than purchasing, uh, than traditional purchasing and financing, and it makes it more attractive to those price sensitive customers. And what this will do when you have those price sensitive customers and you're able to offer them that lease option that does, that is better suited for their budget, ultimately it'll result in higher closing percentage. Okay. And what that does, that'll help you be able to meet and to be able to exceed whatever your quota or your targets is at your store on a monthly basis, ask yourself now, how many of your sales have included the lease option? And if you know there's it has none, or maybe one or just two, you should lick your chops because I assure you, you'll be, if you present it and offer it the right way, it'll help you big time. As a matter of fact, at the end of this video, um, you can get access to the, uh, the entire leasing. Uh, I did a whole program on how to present the lease with word tracks, the question asked, that'll help you blow the doors off of it. But that's at the end of the video, but I'll, I'll keep going with this. Uh, another benefit to you offering a lease option is it increases your commission opportunities. That's a no-brainer. Lease deals often come with bonuses and incentives from the manufacturers. A lot of salespeople don't even know that, as well as add-ons like maintenance packages, insurance, and warranty packages. And so these extras can boost your commission on a lease deal by be a hundred, by be a few hundred dollars. But it does give you the option to be able to increase your commissions earned on deals. And again, there's all types of incentives in when you do offer a lease, okay? Different bonuses, manufacturer related incentives. Make sure you educate yourself and ask your management, hey, do we have any type of lease incentives to us where we sell a lease to a customer, but we have any bonuses or incentives tied in for us or for the customer. Make sure you learn what your specific store is offering when it comes to leases, all right? You can also, another benefit to you is it increases repeat business. Repeat business, I apologize. Lease customers usually return to the dealership when their lease term ends. And that's in every two to four years. And what this does, it creates an opportunity for you 
to be able to repeat the sale. This helps you build long-term relationships and create a steady stream of business over time. Imagine if you got a stream of lease customers that you know in two, three, or four years are going to have to come back and see you to be able to turn the vehicle back in, buy it outright, or to lease something else. So offering leases actually does increase your repeat business if you work it the right way. Another benefit it gives you is that you have the opportunity to be able to sell higher-end models. See, since leasing makes higher-end models more um, reasonably priced for the average person. But let's just face it. Traditional purchasing on higher end models obviously is going to be higher monthly payments, higher initial investment. Okay? So with leasing, it makes those high end models way more affordable for a customer with lower monthly payments. So you now have a choice to be able to move different inventory on premium models that may not be selling as easily through the traditional methods of purchase financing because the payments in the initial investment. So those luxury vehicle customers or those high-end customers, if you haven't been offering them a lease option or if they, if they qualify and you haven't presented it, those are opportunities that might have walked right out the door. So remember, a benefit to you is you can sell higher-end models easier with lease options because it's a lower monthly payment and a lower out-of-pocket expense. Another benefit to you is that with leases, it creates more customer loyalty because when a customer leases a vehicle, they often stay within the brand and return to the same dealership at the end of the lease term. So then it gives you the opportunity to be able to build that loyalty and to keep your customers coming back for new leases or for different purchases. Another benefit for you is that it just boosts those sales numbers. Leases are counted as sales, as I'm sure that you know, and if you don't know, now you do. They're counted as sales. So offering lease options, it helps the salesperson hit those sales quotes. It helps you qualify for more of those bonuses, and you'll be able to earn different accolades, get your props, whether that's that, that certificate or that salesperson of the month. Why not utilize the option for a lease option to be able to boost your numbers and gain that top spot at your store? See, I don't know about, about you, but when I was selling on the floor many moons ago at the dealership, it wasn't good enough for me to just be in the top five. I wanted to be number one. Why? It was just a thing. Not out of any spite for anybody else. It was just a personal challenge to me. If I'm going to be here, and if there's other people doing it too, I want to be the most effective and efficient person in here at it. And because of that mentality, look at what it evolved to. You couldn't have paid me to believe that when I initially started in this business, fast forward at 20 some odd years, that I'd be running a successful sales training company, traveling all around the country and different parts of the world, engaging and training people, watching people go from making 20 and $30,000 at their jobs prior to coming into the dealership, making 70, 80, 90, some 100,000, moving into that six figure a year club, watching that light come on, getting those text messages and emails that people just bought this house. They just bought that car. They got their children in a private school. That's what I do this for. That's what you do it for, to be able to take advantage and embrace all of those things that this industry can provide. Because where else, what other industry, with just a high school diploma or a GED, does a person have a legal chance to make an honest living and earn 70, 80, 90, 100 plus thousand dollars a year? with no out-of-pocket costs. I don't know of any. And if you do, put it in the comments. Because there's not many. It's not real estate, it's not any of that. And sales is the highest paid profession in the world. So the better we do it, the more we earn. The more we earn, the more lives we can impact. The better our lifestyle can be. So don't sleep on these lease options. Take advantage of them. Now, here are the benefits of a lease for your customer. And we've stated some of these already, but I'm going to go over them again. One benefit is they get a lower monthly payment. Leasing allows your customers to drive a new car with lower monthly payments compared to traditional purchasing and financing, which makes it easier for them to afford the car that they really want rather than settling for one that they didn't really want. Another benefit for them is they get newer models more frequently. Customers who lease can drive newer models more frequently, every two, every three, every four years. And they have the option to be able to upgrade to a new car every few years 
keeping them in the vehicles with the latest features and the latest technology. Another benefit to them is there's less financial commitment because leasing typically requires a lower down payment and less upfront financial commitment, making it really appealing to customers who want to avoid those long-term commitments or higher monthly payments or high initial costs, meaning high down payment, out-of-pocket expenses. They want to avoid that. So leasing, it, it gives them a much less financial commitment and without the long-term commitment on top of it. Another benefit to your customers, maintenance cost sale. <laughs> and that's because lease vehicles are usually under warranty for the entire duration of the lease. For that two, three, four years, most coverages protects that vehicle that entire time. So customers experience much fewer repair costs adding to the appeal of getting a lease because they don't have to worry about going and paying to get that transmission or the engine or their drivetrain or their powertrain looked at or take or because it's covered. They can just take it right in. So uh, just keep that in mind. So the next time that you're engaging with a customer and you're qualifying them and you're going through and they're in the military or they're an older person or you're speaking with them and you know you're using the qualifying method that's within the program how to dominate at the dealership and you're finding out you know does this person drive above the standard mileage or do they drive substantially less is this person in the military facing deployment because we got you know situations going on around the world or maybe risk being sent to another part of the country they may be a good option for us somebody that's on a fixed income a fixed budget they may be an excellent candidate for it. somebody that's you know payment conscious that's out-of-pocket down payment conscious these folks are excellent candidates for you to present that lease option for and utilizing the word tracks that are within the leasing program will really help you knock it out the park so for any salesperson any automotive industry that is offering a lease option it increases your chance of closing deal, boosts your commission, and it will help you build long-term lasting customer relationship because they got to come back to your store. And for customers, leasing provides them with more affordability, access to newer models, and fewer financial commitments, making it a win-win for both the sales rep, being you, and the customer. And ask yourself, how often do we ever really get to present a customer with a deal where it's a true win-win for both? Well, the lease option definitely gives you that. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it you know, helped you out. If you have any additional questions, put the comments there and I promise you that I will address them. And if you haven't already, I know I've asked you for this earlier in the video, but remember to like this video, share this video, shoot me a comment if there's something that you want me to do a video on specifically. Other than that, I, I really do thank you for watching and um, I look forward to seeing you at the dealership and at the top. I'm out, y'all. Check out the Selling for Success sales training portal. It has sales training courses, audios, videos, manuals, everything you need to catapult your sales results to a whole new level. So remember, check out sellingforsuccess.org, the sales training portal. I'm Brian Maxwell saying again thank you and I look forward to seeing you at the top.